All right, guys, this is the Iceman on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Um, I watched some videos tonight, and one was about Ric Flair leaving WCW to go to the WWF by Gemini 888, and it, it got me to thinking about... How, you know, Ric Flair was one of my, I mean, he was my all-time favorite for a very, very long time. I remember in the early days, I couldn't wait to go to the drugstore and buy wrestling magazines like Wrestling Illustrated or uh, Pro Wrestling and whatnot. And just so I could read about Ric Flair because we didn't really get a chance really to, to see a lot of Ric Flair around here in the Northeast and, uh, I remember reading about when he was in a plane crash and he broke his back. This was early in his career. And uh, he was really fortunate that he was able to uh, come back and compete again. And he fought the likes of some great, great wrestlers. I mean, Harley Race, he had epic matches with Harley Race. He fought the likes of Nick Bockwinkel. Uh, you name it. He fought him. And uh, I remember, you know, after Hulk Hogan won the WWF title from the Iron Sheik, there was a lot of controversies throughout the wrestling magazines. You know, who was the better? You know, because there was so much being said about Ric Flair being, you know, the technician. Um, you know, the leader of the Four Horsemen. That was such a great faction that he created um, himself. Ole and Arne Anderson. I mean, Tully Blanchard. And But anyway, they were comparing him and Hulk Hogan. And, you know, I saw a lot more of Hulk Hogan because I got to go see him live. And I liked Hulk Hogan. I mean, uh, I liked his Hulka mania deal. Uh, I liked the way he related to the kids. Uh, he was very, very popular here in the Northeast. But I also, when I was able to start watching, you know, NWA wrestling, I liked the style and 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 and, and just the way Ric Flair presented presented himself. I mean, Space Mountain had all the women around him coming out with that long flashy robe with the ruffles, the feathers uh, with the the sparkle Ric Flair on it. I mean he was just one amazing amazing superstar in the world of professional wrestling. And I used to have a lot of controversy with a lot of other people about who was better. And I, you know, I always said, man, Ric Flair would kill Hulk Hogan in a wrestling match. And, and you know, really, if you came down and, and, and looked at it, Hulk Hogan only had a couple moves. He had his leg drop, the kick. I mean, you know, and, and the thing with Hulk Hogan, too, was he did the same old routine in every major match, time after time after time. He would be getting his ass kicked, and all of a sudden... He'd either go like this, point that finger and shake his head no, or he'd get all pumped up and start shaking vigorously, and then all of a sudden he would take it out on his opponent and come back and usually win. Uh, but as far as Ric Flair went, he went the other route. I mean, he was a technician in the ring. Uh, he, he had the flair. The name Ric Flair was perfect for Ric Flair because he did have that flair. And uh, he was an eye catcher. And to me, he was one of the greatest professional wrestlers, entertainers ever in the business. And, you know, like Jim said in his video, he had this disagreement with Jim Hurd. And rightfully so, I agreed with Ric Flair because Jim Hurd wanted to change his gimmick. And how do you change the gimmick? of Ric Flair, the leader of the Four Horsemen. I mean, the most devastating stable 
in professional wrestling and just want to totally dissolve it and go to something new. I mean, Ric Flair had no part of it. Um, so he left and he went to the WWF. And good things happened for Ric Flair. Uh, he was there for a few years or so. He ended up going back to WCW. And uh, WCW just... He was really a nobody once he returned in WCW. And in my eyes... I thought it was really time for Ric Flair to hang it up. And this was like, you know, middle to late 90s. Um, and then, of course, Hulk Hogan, you know, arrived in WCW and he turned heel. And it was a re it was Hulk Hogan. He, he, he was reborn again. Uh, but the days of Ric Flair were pretty much over. And I thought to myself, I mean, you had a great run. Maybe it's time to pack it in. Uh, but he returned back to the, the WWF, the WWE. Uh, he had some stints. He was a member of Evolution, uh, a great faction with Triple H, uh, Randy Orton, and Dave Bautista. And that went over well. Uh, but... That was his last real big run, I think, in professional wrestling. Uh, because after that, it wasn't too much longer. He retired from professional wrestling. They had a big ceremony for him. And I thought that was the last we were going to see a Ric Flair. But unfortunately, Ric Flair just couldn't get away from wrestling. He had to linger on. Uh, he went into TNA. And in the beginning, it was okay for him. But after a while, he was just like screaming loudly. You know, his face would turn red. The veins were bulging out of his head. And I was saying to myself, I go, this guy has taken away all the great memories I ever had for him. Because... When it's all said and done, I'm going to remember Ric Flair for what he's doing now and not for what he did in the old NWA days. I mean, those were the greatest memories of all. And to this day, Ric Flair is still shaming himself. Um, he's getting in the headlines. He's having marital issues, uh, money issues. Uh, He's been intoxicated at events, and he's just really put his Ric Flair name to shame. And it's a sad thing, um, because I think if Ric Flair actually stayed in retirement when they had that big ceremony for him in the WWE, I think a lot of all those great memories from the past will always still be etched in my mind. But all I can see now is the things he's done recently. And, it, it, you know, maybe it's really not fair for Ric Flair, but I'd have to say that if anybody remembers Flair for what he's done recently and not for what he did in the past, he did it to himself. And uh, it's, it's just really a, a big shame. But anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, Ric Flair was one of the greatest wrestlers ever. And sometimes these guys really need to know when to pack it in. And that's why I respect Shawn Michaels for retiring and not coming out of retirement. And he wasn't the greatest wrestler ever. But I will say this, Shawn Michaels was the greatest performer ever. And there's a difference there. And I I just have a hard time when I'm, you know, talking about the subject of Ric Flair because I think more about what he's done recently and less about what he accomplished in the past. And maybe I'm wrong for thinking that way, but you know, those are the memories that are right in the back of my mind right now so anyway i just wanted to throw this video out there 
for all you guys. Um, if you ever got a chance to watch Ric Flair in his very early days, um, you know what I'm talking about. And, and if you haven't, go back and watch because he truly was Space Mountain. He truly was the leader of the Four Horsemen. He truly was, back then, the greatest professional wrestler in the business. This is the Iceman. Peace out, everybody. Have a great night.